Hi, welcome back. So here I am finally on my knees. Uh, however, there is a good reason for that. Uh, if you signed the intro, I've introduced two more proud sponsors of my work, of my channel, of the videos, and uh, I would like to introduce them to you. So here in the box, you're actually going to see uh, tools for the future videos, uh, which will come uh, really, really fast. Um, and uh, one of the companies that I've reached out is Woodcut from New Zealand. Uh, I reached out to Dan and Jennifer and uh, by the way Dan and Jennifer thank you very much for this opportunity uh, now the reason I've reached out to them I'll explain a little bit more in depth uh, in uh, once we open up the box so Dan and Jennifer actually had a great idea to send the tools through their distributor here in uh, Europe the, the Neureiter shop in Austria which is actually on my list to to be the sponsors of the channel of my work and they agreed uh, which i'm really grateful as well and uh, they uh, they sell tools uh, from uh, for the woodcut here in europe as well so you'll see here the box that neureiter sent uh, through woodcut and, and uh, once again thank you marcus from neureiter shop here in austria and uh, Thank you, Dan and Jennifer from Woodcut for supplying this lovely box. Uh, and, uh, there will be actually one more video uh, coming up, I hope, after this one uh, of the unboxing. And uh, you really don't want to miss that one. Um, it's a sort of a dream come true. And uh, you actually see, uh, I'll give a little bit of hints throughout the video. So I think you'll have the idea of what it's coming here. So. Um, once again, thank you Marcus from Neureiter, uh, Dan and Jennifer from Woodcut, so let's open up the box. Here we are and uh, I hope you don't blame me for opening up the box uh, before because I had to just look inside. I'm like a kid in a candy shop, uh, so I've already removed some of the papers inside, so I'll try to... It stays open. I'll remove the, all the papers here. And all the lovely stuff are here. So here I have a few catalogs uh, from Neureiter shop. So really they have a tremendous amount of stuff in their uh, store and uh, really nice quality stuff which is more important to me than the, like the sheer quantity of stuff so this is awesome and uh, let's actually remove all the papers here so you can probably see the hint here uh, what it's what's inside here as well so ball saver max 4 and proform uh, Halloween tools so uh, record power brochure. They also sell these machines and uh, So this is the iron irons. I'll probably say that wrong uh, tool gate for using with uh, Halloween tools now the reason I accepted these Halloween tools uh, as a as a proposal from from uh, Dan and Jennifer is I want to make uh, hollow forms I have a sort of idea for um, like pet urns here in Croatia, they actually don't exist as we speak, so it's more of like a plastic ones or a really rubbish one, doesn't, you know, it's, it doesn't scream like any quality, so I want to, to make sort of a personalized um, hollow forms for pets, and um, I think this will be a great project uh, in the next few months. Uh, for you to see how would I go about hollowing and uh, these are really awesome tools and uh, this should be quite good help along the way as well so and these are the, the stickers I think and uh, here is the sticker from Neureiter shop as well so that will actually I won't stick this now uh, I'll stick this after uh, my next video uh, which <laughs> again you don't want to miss so Let's open up this Halloween tools and these are really nice ones, really hefty ones and uh, so I can 
exactly I can take this out so you can see this is quite solid shaft I think this is 16 mil diameter and uh, is their design here uh, this is sort of like uh, how much material do you want to remove uh, so you don't like uh, you can shorten this so it's just a little on the tip here um, so it takes a really light cut and it's not that grabby and uh, see this is a gooseneck version I have a straight one and uh, slightly less curved one all on the same principle all the tools are here and a nice beefy handle here and you can extend it here and it's really nice one so can't wait to use this to try out for the hollow forms just to check if I've missed anything here so that's all good no, uh, so here is another tool from uh, like a signature tool for uh, from Phil Irons it's a shear scraper and uh, as you know from all of my previous videos I really like to use shear scraper which I learned from my mentor Richard Raffen uh, this is sort of just for shear scraping uh, so I do look forward to, to use this you'll see it in the videos and uh, I'll, I can tell you more about it when I try it out and uh, we have some tools behind here um, so this is um, actually I don't know what this is a flag or it's from Neureiter uh, it's a, like a sleeve um, my guess is this is for the neck I think yeah let me know in the comments uh, what this could be for uh, but it's quite nice so uh, we have here another handle uh, which you can actually uh, extend on the previous one which I showed and uh, that way you have a really big leverage so that's super nice and uh, I have here a scraper what it seems like yeah pro scraper head with two cutters actually so there is a replacement cutter and um, the one on the on the head itself so super nice oh, and uh, I totally forgot about this so these are diamond holes uh, which I ask if, if there will be possible to send them I want to try these out and uh, this is actually what I think 600 and 400 grit so these are actually quite stiff so I do look forward to try these out these are super nice and um, so thank you Neureiter for sending these as well I have uh, two tool post uh, this is for the ball saver uh, 30 mil tool post and uh, now some of you actually that know my lathe uh, are probably wondering uh, but Tommy uh, you have uh, 25 mil or one inch tool post on your lathe and uh, that is true and that's one of the hints uh, on what's coming in the next video I, actually I hope it's the next video depends uh, it should arrive in a day or two so um, so that's really really nice uh, this is I believe for um, a Phil Iris tool gate um, I have to check this out first and uh, here we are at the big box here just open this up there we go now this I haven't opened yet but you can see what it is so it's a bolt saver max 4 and uh, let me just get it out from the box here I am at the lead and uh, this is much shallower uh, box so it's much easier to film it on the lead so can see that's really nice package uh, so no. just before I unbox this uh, ball saver, uh, saver uh, let me just tell you that on a site similar like Aliexpress or um, Amazon uh, something in that category is circling around what is known as a pure copy of this uh, woodcut ball saver they might even uh, write it like this woodcut uh, but uh, it's a pure copy and uh, do not buy that I do not recommend that you buy that uh, first of all 
wall it's it's doesn't work it's rubbish it's poorly made and you'll be just throwing money down the wind and uh, um, now I'll put a link down below on top of the video description uh, of uh, woodcut web website and you'll find there uh, distributors all around the world uh, who sells these original bow saver products and a lot of thought a lot of uh, men a lot of uh, time has uh, gone into making these bow saver I'm guessing a ton of prototypes and everything um, and it's just sad that there are people out there trying to copy their original design and uh, it's just sad I I, 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 don't, I, have, I I don't have any words for that it's a it's a sad and uh, awful situation and I know that Dan and Jennifer are trying to fight that but it's uh, as always it's a it's a fight it's a really struggle and uh, uh, as you know from my uh, giveaway video, I have a few scammers that I've been fighting all night and I just gave up on the end and released the, uh, announcing the winner video a little bit early uh, just because I could lock the comments on giveaway video so just to end that story so this is on just another whole level that these uh, lovely people are fighting for their original product to to or keep the reputation that they deserve so uh, just be aware where you buy your stuff and um, like I said there will be a link of a woodcut uh, website in the video description down below and you can check uh, where uh, you can buy these user guide for Bolt Saver Max 4 and here are templates a few of the templates uh, these are already uh, these are actually quite nice um, these are already on a sort of a, a plastic thing, uh, plastified thing, I'm not sure how to call this. Uh, on the standard uh, bowl saver you get uh, on the paper which then you glue it on, um, on a, let's say MDF or plywood. But both ways works and uh, this is actually quite nice. The reason that I've uh, contacted the, the woodcut company uh, for this ball saver is because whenever I used in my previous videos uh, some uh, the McNaughton, my old beat up McNaughton uh, coring system, uh, you have a lot of questions on how to use that. Will I make a video on that? And uh, the pure reason I'm not doing a video on that McNaughton that I have is because it's really rugged. I bought it second hand. Uh, actually, sorry, that's a lie. I, I uh, exchange it for a piece of walnut. So, uh, but nevertheless, um, it's uh, rugged, and uh, I don't have a nice, clean, curved blades that I can show you. And uh, on the McNaughton system, there is a really big learning curve. On this, actually here, uh, that's the reason I choose the uh, woodcut. Is uh, it's actually really easy, and it's it's. Uh, nice easy way to save a bunch of timber uh, or cores uh, from your balls so um, so probably uh, I'm going to uh, assemble this off the camera uh, in a few days um, just because uh, if you ever had like uh, friends that doesn't have they don't have children and they like to tell you how to raise your own children uh, this is the sort of a scenario that I'm in so I first want to try this out uh, uh, test it I'm probably going to do uh, since I have a lot of ash to process so I'm probably going to uh, use this uh, for maybe 20 30 40 50 times maybe depends on how many rough out balls I'm going to making and um, and then I'm going to uh, show you this uh, in depth, in action, and uh, tell you all the, about uh, the little tips and tricks that I found along the way. So I just first had to uh, try this out. And uh, so the, the thing that actually pushed me more on the uh, ball saver here on the, from the woodcut is when I saw the uh, Mike Mahoney video that he tested this out way before, a few years ago. Um, and he liked it, so you know it's a good product. So, uh, so we have here 
uh, three blades. The standard version has two blades and that version is from one horsepower blades up. And uh, this one is, I believe, for one and a half and up. I believe you can use the smaller blade with um, one horsepower blades, but not the two bigger ones. And uh, this can core out, uh, I believe, from 75 mil uh, all the way up to 480 mil, I think. So this is the big blade. Let me just try to get the middle one out. Okay, so that's the middle one. The same uh, Stellarite cutter, I believe I said that right, um, which uh, should be a really long lasting. And uh, you have a, like always uh, diamond horns around, so you can sharpen these as well. So and uh, the smaller one whoop. so you can see these are really nicely made and uh, now similar uh, system out there uh, would be uh, one way which is also a great uh, option i just find that this one uh, should be really more user friendly and uh, maybe a bit easier or actually less tools to um, put to put it on the lathe and take it off in a hurry. So, I'll, like I said, I'll test this in a perspective of a production turner. So, when I have like 40-50 balls to rough out, I'll be using this extensively. So, this is the turret that goes here on the top, and uh, yeah, it's all really nicely made, really high quality, and everything has a really nice heft to it. And this handle is again nice uh, and actually similar. I wonder actually if this one will fit. I think it will. Uh, just doesn't know. I don't know if this size will fit. So I guess you can use perhaps even this handle on um, hollowing tools as well. So uh, so that's a nice feature. Don't quote me on that, but I think by the look of it it should uh, fit so this is all quite nice and uh, you know, let me just bring this out so you can see it a little bit better so you can see this is all nice big hunk of steel uh, everything is nice and solid and uh, now let me remove this so you can see i mean this and uh, you can see this i mean this just doesn't have any friction it's super nice super super fit and finish and you can see this is really 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 nice so um like i said i i'm not saying that this is all great uh only because they are sponsors of my work um like I said, I've contacted them. They didn't reach out to me and said uh, like or something like in the range that we'll give you this if you say some good stuff. I reached out to them because I know this is a good product. I know this is a quality stuff that I'm going to be using a lot. And uh, I, I have uh, several uh, projects in mind that I'm going to use this. And hopefully you'll get a really a lot from that videos. So now after trying this out i really cannot wait um i hopefully in a day or two uh, the the final video uh, on this unpacking or presenting the sponsors will arrive and uh, we can set off into new ad adventures on a new journey so thank you dan uh, thank you jennifer uh, thank you marcus from neuriter shop for uh, believing in me and giving me the opportunity and i highly suggest that uh, if you are in the market for tools or uh, anything water re related that you're going to uh, check these companies out and they make uh, all this stuff possible for us and uh, I'm just really grateful for this opportunity and uh, so like I said you really don't want to miss the next video I think it should be the next video it depends uh, the, the palette should arrive in there too so I hope uh, that will be the next video as I'm really anxious to uh, to finally set it up and uh, let me just give you a few hints so it's extremely well built thing um, it's up there with Wick, uh, Wickmark uh, and uh, it's it's actually not that common uh, to see uh, but it's extremely well built machine and uh, should be really interesting one so 
uh, once again thank you all none of this like I said would be possible for you uh, without you and, and uh, you'll see the uh, and you'll see most of these tools uh, really soon uh, some of them like this bow cutter like I said I'll have to uh, first of all test for myself because I've used McNaughton uh, for a while now uh, so I want to test this out see any tips and tricks that I can give you so uh, you can uh, expect more uh, from that video and uh, should be I hope in January uh, when I'll do a massive uh, sort of a production of bowls uh, sort of January is my my time of the year let's say uh, so once again thank you and uh, see you in the next video